Hey guys, I'm Aaron Kurtz, and I want to talk about the thing that you will not hear people addressing uh, when it comes to low back pain, migraines, IBS, digestive issues, anxiety, OCD, depression. Maybe you've had some of these symptoms, disorders, manifestations, and maybe you've had a, a, a mixture of them that kind of come and go and vary in intensity. And you're wondering, what is, is this all about? Is there a connection? And I'm here to tell you, there absolutely is one. Because I've had many of those things I already listed. And I've noticed a severe drop in all of those because of what I'm going to tell you now, what I've done and worked on. And we call this mind-body, um, they call them disorders. I don't even like to look at the body as having a disorder. I know it's disordered in how it functioning but the body I look at the body as doing everything for a reason and so when I come from it from that perception of it's not really a disorder uh, the disorder is actually in how you are living your life that's where the disorder is your body is just expressing itself in the best way it can because of how you're living your life so maybe you've had tension in your head when you uh, you know when you get overstressed and maybe you've had knots in your stomach or butterflies in your stomach, right? Or maybe someone got, got the shit scared out of you, literally. These are physical manifestations that happen when we're under any kind of emotional burden. There is such a connection there. Um, you're not going to hear mainstream understand it. They don't. Um, and even alternative functional holistic sides don't understand it. They're going to throw acupuncture and... Um, you know, massage and supplements and, and saunas and ice baths and you name it, all the stuff out there you've probably tried that I've done as well and just puts you in a loop of not actually getting at the source, not actually coming back into your own power that we gave up a long time ago that we forgot that we even had. So what I'm talking about here is the unconscious automatic repression of emotions, feelings. Now emotions lay on a spectrum, a scale, all the way from the lower end of the survival, what I'll call lower level emotions, moving on on, on up to the more life-giving, energizing emotions of peace and love. Emotions communicate a message to us. That message is all about our core beliefs. And so a very healthy response to especially lower level survival emotions like fear, guilt, shame, anger is to embrace, to feel, to surrender, to, to absorb and, and let be, to learn to be with. Our automatic tendency is to push away, to resist, to manipulate, to overthink. And, um, and this is all coming from our childhood uh, skills, the lack of skills we had as a child, ability to validate emotions, have our emotions validated, to learn how to process them, to be with them. And because of this, we develop these beliefs that either we were taught or we took on, a beliefs about ourselves needing to be a certain way that just got imprinted on our system. And because of those beliefs, it is unsafe for us to have any of these emotions. And so our automatic subconscious brain was programmed to do this for us and does it very well. Just like you can get into a car and you can drive to... Um, to school or to work and you do it every day and so you sometimes you might even drive and you get there like I don't even and you might think to yourself I don't remember getting here and consciously you didn't really have that engagement because your subconscious did it all for you it learned it your subconscious runs most of your all your day-to-day -day habits and activities and it will do it as well for your emotional experience it's doing it right now if you're having any of these issues it is automatically, subconsciously, unconsciously repressing and pushing down certain feelings. And it's tied together by these core beliefs that you have. And so this is emotional repression and emotions carry energy. 
You might have heard the, the saying, emotion is energy in motion. And when emotion, energy gets stuck in your body, it weighs on your subconscious. This creates a taxing overload. This creates a danger signal in the body. And the body feels that stress and you get that manifestation, that disorder, right? That we're talking about here. And then we try to jump in a cold bath. Then we try to massage it away. We try to push as many vitamins and minerals as we can. Um, as many stem cells as we can. Uh, you name it. Go on and on about the ways that mainstream and functional holistic medicine tries to combat this and tries to deal with this. And it's an utter failure. At best, it's a strong placebo that just waits to crash and burn until the next promising thing comes along. This is the root. This is the work. And so what you want to do is you need to go through the pain, through the discomfort, learning to be comfortable being uncomfortable um, is how I put it. And look for where you are inhibited in your life. Where are your fears at? Where you, when, what situations bring fear into your life? What situations bring up guilt for you, shame for you? These are the ones you want to look for. Many times it's guilt, shame, fear. Learn about those emotions. Learn, notice them when they come up. And a big one that also tends to happen with these emotions is buried beneath these is anger. And so Anger, you may, maybe you have anger always up inside of you. It's always coming out and you're expressing it like blowing off steam. You are still not being with that emotion. Okay. So that's the, that's, there's one end of expending anger and there's another end of repressing anger. But for a lot of you who repress anger, you're not going to get to anger unless you really sit with fear and guilt and shame. And then you can access that anger, which is a lot more empowering and you can take action, okay, life giving action. But this is it, where are you inhibited? What emotions do you deal with on your day to day life? Tend to look inward on, these, on this inner experience and learn the skill of allowing being and surrendering, getting out of our mental thoughts and the way we, if you're in an OCD world, which is what I, I coach and deal with a lot, is the compulsive nature to resist and and uh, and suppress our thoughts and emotions. And so it's the opposite. We need to engage them, be with them, learn from them. They have so much to tell us. There's so much for you to learn about yourself. You are more powerful than you know right now. There is power in you that lays hidden to the trauma um, of our early years and how we adopted a certain way of becoming someone else that was not who we are. And so the way through this is to look for this comfort, look for the emotions you don't want to feel and go in there. And uh, you can do it through therapy. You can do it on your own. There's many ways to do this, but I hope this helps out. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel for new videos coming out and I hope to see you guys soon.